Hello, I'm Drew Drogi. I've been drinking heavily, and I'm gonna talk to you all about the Reagans. Ronald, Nancy, and others. Get ready. Oh, hi. So, it's 1949. A young actress named Nancy Davis somehow gets on a communist blacklist. She knows I gotta, I gotta talk to the president of the Screen Actors Guild, Ronald Reagan, because he's gonna help me. He was in a movie called Newt Rockney, and he was in Bad Time for Bonzo. A lot of people don't remember Ronald Reagan was very liberal. This is a guy who's like, hey, I'm an actor. I'm the president of the, the Screen Actors Guild. I love my life. I'm hot and pro-union and all that stuff. Somebody said to Ronnie, like, this actress, Nancy Davis, wants to meet with you. Ronnie saw Nancy and was like, she's hot. I'll meet her. So they met for dinner afterwards. Nancy walks in and she is banging. She's like, got it all happening. Spilt, I spilt on myself. Do you have any drinks? Do you have any glasses that are gonna be smaller, smaller lipped? We broke into this place. I don't know whose it is. Where are we? <laughs> During dinner, and you know, she was like, I'm on a blacklist of the Communist Party. And he's like, he was like, what? And she was like, yes. Can you believe it? And he was like, I can't. You don't seem like a communist to me. And she's like, I'm not. There was nothing communist about her. She was always rabidly conservative. He got to the bottom of things and realized it was a clerical error, so he got her off that list. And they were like, let's fall in love. Boom. Hollywood. Yeah, just I'm pretend you're wasted. Nancy. Pretend I've had you're... A bottle, I've had a bottle of whiskey. So tell me what you want me to do. Just pretend. But I'll do whatever the f you want me to do, but I, I, want, I want to make a good show. Okay, yeah, okay. The Reagans were married in 1952. Nancy, you know, definitely convinced Ronnie, we're, we are has-beens. Like, we, we're not gonna make it in Hollywood. You need to be more conservative. Ow. Oh, you okay? What'd you Fine. do? I stabbed my own eye out. How did you stab your eye out? What? Let's be famous, you know, politically. Become the, the faces of conservatism. She was basically like his manager. You need to be the movie star that you are. Always smile and hold your head to a half 45 degree right angle. I think she, in her mind, ran her own studio and, 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 and she had one, one player and that was Ronald Reagan. Remember, business, business. So it was 1964, Barry Goldwater was running for president, hyper-conservative, a boring human being. They employed Ronald Reagan, who was this famous, great actor, um, to give the speech. In the speech, he said, you can either go right or left, but that's not what it is. It's either up or down. And up, you can, you can choose to be up towards individualism, or down in the depths of totalitarianism. People were like, wow, I need to watch this. He has a chiseled jaw. I trust him. I like this guy. And so like, and he got very popular with the Republicans. They were not successful actors as actors, but they were incredibly successful actors as politicians and Ronnie became the governor of California. Nancy was always about being famous on any level. Like, if I'm not gonna be a movie star, I'm gonna be, you know, in the White House. All of a sudden, it's the 80s. He started to run for president. He made everyone feel good about, about being American again. And Nancy coached him. Nancy was like, talk about the children. Talk about um, holidays. Talk about booze. Talk about all of it. <laughs> Landslide won because they wanted a hero. She was in charge. She did it, and it was it was one grand performance. 
until the end. <laughs> what are we what are we talking about right now? Just well <laughs> The end. Hi, everybody. <laughs> I just burped on Comedy Central.